hey guys welcome back to my channel this is Sharani today I'm going to show you an easy and simple way to prepare a delicata squash here I have an organic one and I'm going to peel off the label and wash it and most people just run it under water but for me I like to go an extra step and wash it with soap I don't know I just feel like it's cleaner if I put soap if you've never had this kind of squash before, I hope I can convince you by the end of this video to try it because it's just so good. After I dried off my squash, I'm going to cut both ends of the squash. I'm going to throw that away, I don't need that. And then I'm going to cut that in half but be careful don't cut yourself because it's a little bit hard to cut. And then I'm going to scoop out the insides and don't throw the seeds away you can roast those up like you do with pumpkin seeds I'm just going to put mine in my air fryer and roast them up because that's way easier than doing it in the oven if you want to see how to roast up your seeds in the air fryer or in the oven I'm going to leave my video link below so you can check them out Okay, now I'm just going to slice this up. With this squash, you can eat the skin, so no need to peel it. I know with a lot of squashes, you can't eat the skin, but with this one, you definitely can. Now that I have this on my baking sheet, I'm going to put some oil on it. And in this bottle, I have avocado oil, but you can use any oil you like. It's up to you. I love this little bottle. It just comes in so handy. So if you're interested in it, I'm going to leave it linked below for you. But it works really good, especially when you don't want to use a lot of oil. And then I'm just going to put some pink Himalayan salt on top, but you can use any salt you like. I'm just going to mix it up together so everything could get coated with the salt and the oil. And that's it, that's the only thing I'm putting on it. You just want to space them out on a tray so they can roast up nicely. If they're touching, then they will more than likely steam than roast. Bake this in a preheated 425 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 12 minutes. After the 12 minutes is up, you're going to take them out and flip them and then bake them an additional 12 minutes.
and that's it you guys that was so so easy to make and so good oh my goodness it's so sweet it's like you don't even need to add anything to it because of how sweet it is and it has that buttery nutty flavor that I like I just love it if you can't get your hands on these you can also try a butternut squash and I have a video on how to roast that if you're interested but that's very sweet also and so good I'll talk to you in my next one take care bye